Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Phil. I'm Erica. And on our channel, we watch and react to rom-coms. Not a lot of people do that, but we thought we would try it. So <laughs> that's what we've been doing over the last few videos. Um, today, we're going to pick another one at random. So here we go. It's lagging. Okay, it's, yes! not, it's not a new one, but we've been wanting to watch this one. <laughs> we, we got faked out a couple of weeks ago about watching this one, and now we get to do it. So yes. awesome. All right, here we go. Is this Rush Hour? I'm just kidding. <laughs> every, like my automatic... every New Line Cinema is Rush Hour. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, the fashion. So good. <laughs> they're, they're a good pair. Mm -hmm. They're a Is 50 First Dates on this list? I wonder. What? That is so dangerous. <laughs> I mean, for the dress. Mm -hmm. I know we talked about this before, but like, I still can't imagine having a wedding singer. Or a band at the wedding. Really? Yeah. New wedding? Sorry? My new wedding? I know, at our wedding. Um. Well, you have to have a lot of trust in their, like, emceeing abilities and their... Yeah, 100%. At one point, I thought, we were, like, I really wanted a band for our wedding. But for where we got married, I don't think it would have worked out. Like is that the only there. reason that we didn't? Because our venue didn't allow No, it? I think it was just easier. They had like a list of DJs they work with. I'm like, okay, let's just pick that one. <laughs> yeah, I would have vetoed that. <laughs> I mean, he's pretty good though. But he actually interacts. He gets to know people. I imagine most of them do. <sighs> So I guess you've never been to a wedding with a celebrity. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I just I just get a, get scared that it might be like too corny. Mm -hmm. Cheeses up the wedding. Like when I was in rehab and uh, I couldn't find my car. He always plays this guy. Harold, you know, he's always. Because <laughs> like his life is always falling one. apart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've always been the screwed up one, right, Dad? <laughs> Why can't you be more like your brother? Oh, I will no. never beat up his landlord. <laughs> Have you ever seen a Wait a cringy in person? In person. I don't think so. Yeah, me either. Puerto Rico we picked up those two uh uh, uh I guess they were prostitutes, but I don't remember paying. <laughs> okay, how about that? How about that? Yeah. That's gonna happen. Oh, please. It's Did these guys have day. a career outside Always of these? Always takes them at least three years <laughs> like, to movies? They shouldn't date anyone. Like his friends? And for some reason, you like being the guy that helps them realize. Honestly, they, they probably don't, don't even need to. <laughs> Just like <laughs> taking care of your, don't your group. Yeah. Yes, I do. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> That's not Coke. Julia. I'm actually that drink next to her? Oh, I didn't even see. That's a beautiful ring you have there. Are you getting married soon? Right now, I feel like I'm doomed to wander the planet alone forever. Oh, no. like the Incredible Hulk, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Was she in another one of his movies? I swear she was in Happy Gilmore. Happy, yeah, that's his grandma. Mm -hmm. In the home. Well, mobility is All right, well, amazing. Next time, okay? <laughs> oh, don't be She's silly. Hold out your hands. You want to <laughs> Okay. Oh. oh. Cool. Thanks a lot. She's so excited. Why? Why? Call her. Uh, she 
probably gonna make oh, her, no. um, her dress or something. I know where she likes to look her best. It'll be okay. How do you get to this point without knowing? Something must have said something. Oh. I just got off the phone with Linda's mom. Linda's not there, but there was a note. A note? Is everything all right? Yeah, she's okay. It basically indicated that Linda was not coming today. Hmm. So it was a bad note. Couldn't pull him aside. Did she say why? <clears throat> Okay. That was a coward move. Not the show? Yeah, or say something before the wedding mm. or oh, talk about it. Everything's gonna be alright. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, jeez. You're late. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't ever want to marry you. Damn. Geez, you know, that information might have been a little more useful to me yesterday. <laughs> I'm not in love with Robbie now. I'm in love with Robbie six years ago. Robbie, the hmm. lead singer of Final Warning. The point is, I woke up this morning and I realized I'm about to marry a wedding singer? I am hmm. never going to leave Ridgefield. Why do you need to well, leave Ridgefield? We grew up here. Oh, yeah. Living in your sister's basement with five kids while you're off every weekend doing wedding gigs at a whopping 60 bucks a pop? Once again, things that could have been brought to my attention yesterday! <laughs> <laughs> the fact is, we grew apart a long time ago. Hey, Linda! You're a <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So happy. A sweet face. <laughs> <laughs> he might have Tourette syndrome. We'll look into it. <laughs> Two airplane tickets to Las Vegas. Hello. Oh my God, Glenn! Oh my God, Glenn! I love you so much, hmm. but Las Vegas. I thought Jules is the romance capital of the world. I just don't want. To <laughs> is it? You know, hundreds of people we don't know that are just there for the free drinks, all-you-can-eat buffet. They might as well be in Vegas. <laughs> I don't know. It sucks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A word? 60 bucks? <laughs> so he's a wedding singer for this venue. That's why they all mm -hmm. work together? Or... I don't know. Because, like, well, how is it possible that like they're all here. working the same? Mm. Hey, buddy, I'm not paying <laughs> yes, you exactly. on life. I'm paying you to sing. Jeez. Well, I have a microphone, and you don't. So you will listen to every damn word I have to say! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep. Is it true that you're in the middle of a nervous breakdown? No. Nervous <laughs> breakdown, nervous breakdown. Who said wow. that? Everybody. Everybody? Mm -hmm. You're eight years old. You only know your parents. What are you talking about? <laughs> I wonder if people really dressed like that. They really had like, mm -hmm. the, the thriller jacket. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be here very long. Right, let me just Not the glove. <laughs> what do you think of the jacket? I don't know, man. I would lose that Maybe they did. I wouldn't get surprised. Julia. It's iconic. Yeah, I think you're right. They all work together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what? 
<laughs> the first time this guy saw you, he told me he was going to hit on you. Really? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, it is. You told me she was in trouble. She was going to get it. She didn't even know. Wait, wait, wait. Snitch it. Say no. Say no. What? You said you were going to give it to her. Oh. Give me what exactly? Yeah. Jeez. You're a jerk. What? <laughs> give me what? <laughs> now you're not going to give it to me? <laughs> Very funny. Say hi to your brother Tito. <laughs> 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 you didn't even want to do so it. So funny. <laughs> well, you seem kind of sad. Why don't you get out there and dance, buddy? Bruce, you! She talks to me like you got your pick of any man in this room to dance with. So, I want you to take your time and find amongst all these young studs here tonight the coolest, most unillusory guy in the bunch. Hmm. Do you think they chatted about this, or are they just kind of like, we're on the same page? On the same page. May I have this dance? But why wouldn't she pick like the celebrant? <laughs> That's true. That's so rude. <laughs> Oh. Who's a celebrant? <laughs> Is that part of the deal? That's funny. It's <laughs> cute. <laughs> that is cute and lighthearted for back then, but mm -hmm. now. You think people get offended now? Yeah. What is? Do you know our culture today? Everything's politically incorrect. You'll be glad to know I don't know, I think if there's consent, it would be fine. Did you hear any consent? That's dangerous. <laughs> what? It's a dangerous arrangement. What do you mean? Oh, for him to help her? I'm mm -hmm. gonna pay $500 for a half-eaten yeah. wedding cake. My garage. Okay, take it for it, everybody. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy, that was, that was really good, man. Thank you. Hey, no, thank you. <laughs> for what? For quitting. Or should I thank Linda? Business is tough. Wow. Good luck finding a DJ who can move and shake like this. <laughs> Uh, I remember we went to Grand Canyon one time, we were flying there, and I'd never been there before, and Linda had, so you would think that she would give me a window seat, but she didn't. You think that's a red flag? What? That scenario you just described? I think enough little things like that, right one. yeah. Being someone I could see myself growing old with. <sighs> Planting the seed. <laughs> on this we were just having a debate about wedding kisses i say that it's okay for it to be an open mouth kiss and i say that it's the type of occasion where people dress up so it's not appropriate there's got to be a little tongue well maybe a little tongue not porno tongue church, <laughs> church tongue, tongue. Church tongue. <laughs> what what is that i don't know how to describe this isn't worth proving a point i know <laughs> i'm gonna have to see it if i'm gonna make an educated decision well, well, if it's... I feel like she has a feeling. Okay. All right, you ready? I now the friend? Mm -hmm. She's just trying to see something. Mm. You think so, or... Do you need to get some church tongue? The song. <laughs> now, I'll be a young girl and you'd be Robbie. So ask me out. Okay. Would you like to go to dinner with me sometime? <gasps> no. Your penis is too small. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. 
As I said, it had some size. <coughs> oh, Robbie. Would you like to go on a date with Holly? Oh, I forgot. It's a double date. Oh, yeah? You want me to go out on a date with Holly? Yeah. Hmm. It'll be a double date. Glenn and I are going to go, too. <coughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's Holly's a, nice. That's a big weight. Yeah. She's strong. And she's single. Yeah. And you're single. Sunday's a big day, huh? I don't even know your last name. It's Gulia. Gulia. <laughs> Gulia's last name is going to be Gulia. Julia. <laughs> Gulia. That's funny. Why is that funny? I don't know. That is a luscious ass right there, isn't it? Mmm, my god. That's grade A, top choice meat. Gotten hot. Ten years ago. Tried ten days ago. Wow. Yeah. Oh my god. What? There it is. I can't I never What? You've got to thank for Julia. Man, Neon was really in, huh? It's so funny that this is just a costume now. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I didn't vomit on you, did I? What did he say? That Glenn's a jerk off. But don't worry, I mean, I told him why you were marrying him. I did you tell him. Which was what? Did she say what? For the money. Oh. And, you know, because. Because with Glenn, you'll have security. Hmm. I mean, it is important. Mm -hmm. Well, it was, but now I'm doing some stuff to better my situation. That sounds kind of selfish. It's not selfish. Does that? As opposed to teaching other people. Oh. Like you're contrasting that. I don't know. We're living in a material world and I am a material girl. <laughs> what about you? You're into material shit. Oh. Mm. What do I mean? You're marrying Glenn because he's got money. That's why I married you. I'm just kidding. I need more money than you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just at the beginning. I think we just leave this conversation. <laughs> like, just depart from it. Gosh, he turn, baby. made me a present. Does he, does he have to go through all of them? I'm not happy. I'm miserable. Hmm. Everything is going to be <laughs> all right. <laughs> you found someone you can love. You can't let it get away. You're right, man. What do you think of that advice? What, to go after her? Yeah, she's engaged. Yeah, but you know she's making a mistake. I still think it's a line you don't cross. Yeah, it's complicated. I don't know if I'm in love with him anymore. Why? What happened? Well, there it is. And I've been spending a lot of time with this other man. Robbie Hart. There it is. Thinking of leaving Glenn for the wife I'm missing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm confused. Oh, no, sweet. Coffee. Everybody has them. I had him. Cause I should have run screaming down the street. Do you have that? No. Me either. Well, I guess for a lot of people everything's getting married, especially then, marriage, there's like a finality to it. And it really makes you think like, oh, this is like, this is it. Was divorce not as high back then? I don't think it's so. not this. It's not that far. I think nowadays it's like, oh, it's just, it's not treated with the same 
seriousness. Hmm. Not seen as sacred. You can always just like a piece of paper. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Mrs. <laughs> Glenn Gulia. Oh, she's the disgust on her face. I know. Julia Gulia. <laughs> Caesar in the wedding dress. <laughs> Hi, I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Mrs. Robbie Hart. Oh, she did that. Damn. Aww. She's thinking about you, bro. <laughs> What was the plan? Like just to tell her. Tell her how you feel. Yeah. Oh, oh man. There he is. Hey, it's wedding singer. Hey, Glenn, what's up? You're ridiculous, man. Stop all this cheating shit, moron. Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I used to be much. <laughs> You can call it, uh, I got punched in the nose for sticking my face in other people's business. <laughs> it's, a good, it's, a, it's a good title. It's a good title. It's horrible. Sounds like a country song. <laughs> <laughs> country songs do be like that. Yeah. Why? Oh, the axe is gonna open the door. You must be Linda. Yeah, that's me. Robbie's fiance. Mm hmm. Oh, I guess they just pick up. I'm Julia Sullivan. I just missed him. Before you go, go to leave me hanging up like a solo. Sounds like Moira. Yeah! <laughs> Like, what does that remind me of? Linda? Oh, I wonder if he even remembers the night before. Please get out of my Van Halen t shirt before you jinx the band and they break up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So you're still pissed about that wedding thing? The wedding thing? Jeez. Uh. This is what she was preparing for? Yeah. For her anniversary. Oh. Where was he during the lesson? She could pay for this, but she couldn't pay for lessons. So sweet. <laughs> Light bulb. Oh. Whoa. I know. I'll go get the car. Does anybody have a pen? What for? I got a good idea for a song. Thank you. Why are they all sitting in the front? <laughs> I used to wonder that as a kid. Like, I always wanted to sit in the front with my parents. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I need to take a loss. <laughs> what? Hmm, the window seat. Hmm. Mm. Switch seats and I sat in the window seat. Hmm. I hate the aisle seat. Tell you what. How about I let you lean over me when we fly over the top? <laughs> <laughs> How sweet. Wow. Thanks. Sir? Is that Billy Idol? I believe it is. Oh my god. I fell in love with this girl. And she's gonna marry an idiot, so I'll go my way to Vegas to stop that. That's the sweetest thing I've ever heard. Comes over to tell me how she feels 
and Linda answers the door wearing nothing but my Van Halen t-shirt. <laughs> what to do? She's getting married and he's gonna ruin her life. Yeah, Glenn doesn't deserve her. See, yeah. Billy Idol gets it. I don't know why she doesn't get it. <laughs> oh, I hope you find her. Some creeping coach who thinks he's Don Johnson just asked me to be part of the Mile High Club. He said I was grade Whoa. A top choice meat. <sighs> uh. What are the chances? Well, I guess. The flying yes, yeah. yeah. My high guy is Glenn. They're on this plane. No way! <laughs> <laughs> right! Yeah! One of our first class passengers would like to sing you a song inspired by one of our coach passengers. <laughs> and since we let our first class passengers <laughs> do pretty much whatever they whatever want. Whatever they want. <laughs> Such a good song. This is so your part of this path. This girl rolling. What? <laughs> there you go. I'm so in love with you. Oh. Hey, Robbie, that wasn't a bad song, you know. I'm gonna tell this record company guys about you. Mad if I give her a kiss first. Oh, yeah, do what you gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. That's awesome. Okay. Fun. That was fun. It it definitely still holds up. Like I still the feel good that I remember it being. Mm. So that's good. Yeah. Was there anything new that you saw or noticed about it this time? Um, I mean, just like the details of the whole story, <laughs> the whole plot. Um. Which part? But. I don't know, like, I I don't know that I ever knew he got left at the altar. Oh, really? Or, yeah, like, how they ended up breaking up. Yeah, I totally forgot that Drew Barrymore's fiancé was a dick. You're no, describing like, a, lot of, <laughs> a lot of like, the movie right Like now. I told you, I was, like, the, the plot. Like, so what did you remember? I think he was I just remember, singer. I remember <laughs> it being it, like, this movie being on multiple times in my childhood, like, hanging mm -hmm. out with my cousins or maybe at home, but... As a kid, like, I'm busy playing around. Like, I'm not yeah, sitting and yeah. watching just kind of this movie. Background. Yeah, so I remember, like, bits and pieces, enough to kind of, like, know that they end up together, obviously. Mm. And, like, my cousins, like, my older cousins would always laugh about, um, like, John Lovitz. Like, the, <laughs> those He's parts. He's losing that, his <laughs> mind. <laughs> um, like, yeah, his parts would always be quoted. The songs. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, those popular bits, like, I knew of, but, like, then watching the whole thing was, like, oh, that's mm -hmm. where, like, all came together. Yeah. It was good. It was cute. I know. I really enjoyed it. I really, I really liked it. Uh, and Adam Sandler movies are always, like... It's fun. Very light. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, I wonder if that's the reason that, like, I, I don't know, like, there, there's a lot of, like, typical rom com -y stuff that happens like really predictable and like stereotypical rom-com stuff mm -hmm. and usually it, i find them like cringy but here i, I just kind Which of accepted ones do you them find cringy? i don't know like like even in usually the, i'm the cringe <laughs> cringy in, in that like it's it's so predictable that it's it's kind of like corny as yeah. opposed to like it being like a fun thing to consume like this one i didn't mind it as much but like I can kind of see them coming and like when Harry met Sally, for example, or, and I don't like it and I don't know why. Maybe it's because this is, it's kind of takes place in a ridiculous kind of scenario that it already mm. is like you're in that mood where it's like, okay, whatever comes, comes like, like, cause like even at the end, like that was, 
um, like him singing the song to her at the end to win the girl, uh, that you know at the very last minute. I think that's so, like so like such a trope of of rom coms. But oh, I I still really like it. I even I, got kind of emotional. I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> the, at the end, yeah, I know me too. I think I know what you mean. Like the whole movie is silly from yeah. beginning to end. Whereas some other rom coms like the part like the really common scene that like makes me feel so oh like I hate this part yeah. or like it's super cringy is when the confession happens in front of everybody, which kind of happens here. But it I guess like exactly it's, here, yeah. But it's cute because he sings it through a song and it's silly. Like in first class, like that was super silly. Yeah. He was telling everybody, but that theme was like a thing from yeah. the beginning. Whereas in other rom com movies, it's like oh it was. Mm. It's, like, kind of funny. Or, I don't know, like... It's added in, maybe. Yeah, like, it just feels more cringe. <laughs> I wonder how much of this know. is nostalgia, though. Like, I wonder how much of it, like, we, we give leeway because, like, this was such yeah, a big part true. of, like, our childhood. When, mm-hmm. when we used to watch, like, yeah, like, you would watch it with your family. I think this would always be on, like, TBS. Like, mm-hmm. one of those movies that are just, like, mm-hmm. consistently on. So I would always, like, see it, and if it's on, I see it. I just leave it on. Like those kinds of things, so yeah, maybe maybe we kind of give it a little bit more rope yeah, because true. it's like, hey, yeah, we really like this movie. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But we finally got one that was a bit more modern. There's still much more modern ones on this list, but um, yeah, uh, we've definitely gone on a, a streak of like older movies that we haven't seen before, which mm-hmm. has been good. But I'm glad that we've had a few now that uh, we've had a bit of a you think experience this is with. modern? More modern than the ones that we've been. I think it's not that. I don't think it's that modern, but no? it's definitely more familiar. I feel like maybe okay, it's maybe that's more yeah modern because it's more common to us or more familiar. Yeah. But if I knew nothing about this, like, <laughs> still, it's from the eighties. Yeah. Familiar Which, is probably what I meant. Yeah, like there are those generational things. Yeah. <laughs> that I'm like, oh man, that was that would not fly today. <laughs> Or it's, like, not as funny as maybe as it was. Back then. Back then. Because before, it's just, like, innocent. Oh, it's just a joke. Whereas now, it's, like, that's harassment. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I guess so. Particularly but I mean, that but scene. But it's Adam Sandler. But it's Adam Sandler, like, yeah. a lot of... Even in his movies, actually, like, more recent movies, it's not as... I guess, yeah. Um, I don't know what word I'm looking for. <laughs> not as inappropriate. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I guess so. But the but still the same type of humor. Yeah, yeah. You know what and I mean. Same people. <laughs> and same people. Yeah. It's really cool that he does that. Cool. Uh, any final thoughts for the wedding singer? No, not really. I'm glad we finally got to watch it. Yeah, we, we've been teased a few times on that one. So, awesome. Cool. Well, that was a fun one. Uh, hope you enjoyed. <laughs> I guess, <laughs> and we'll see you for the next one. <laughs> Peace. Bye.